Hi everyone, I've been thinking about things that I no longer do, either because they cost money or because they're just a waste of time. So basically I've got some habits here that I've decluttered. Number one is makeup. I no longer wear loads of makeup. I only wear maybe some lippy and some mascara if I'm going out somewhere nice. But I just feel for me now as an older woman, it's a waste of time. Um, it's also expensive, even just to take the makeup off if you buy a makeup remover, it's expensive. But um, I do also have a condition called rosacea, which um, is like pimples on the face and, and rashes. It's not too bad these days, but I do have flare ups. When I first had it, my whole face was covered. I think if you're young, it's great to experiment with makeup and with clothes and shoes and everything and maybe where to work and it's great going out and and using all those things to, to find and discover the person that you are. And I certainly did when I was young. But for me now as an older lady, I just, for me, it's just, it's a waste of money and a waste of time. Number two is I don't go shopping anymore. And by that, I mean, I don't go out just for fun and spend loads of money on clothes and shoes and home items and cosmetics and all of that sort of thing. I think partly it's because I'm an older woman and I have now everything that I need and want and I certainly keep my home decluttered anyway because I think life's for living, not, not for looking at stuff. Um, but I just, it's a waste of money. I mean, very often you get home and you just think, oh gosh, why did I buy that? I really don't need it. Um, or you'll buy something and it will just sit there. So I don't go out shopping just, just for fun and, and waste a whole load of money. Um, and clothes, certainly anyway, I buy from charity shops. I have done for years since I was a teenager. I do have new items, obviously when I need a new pair of shoes, then I'll go out and buy new ones. Um, but it's not something that I do all the time. So I would rather spend the money on maybe having a day out um, and making a memory with my family. Number three is I stopped giving myself a complete makeover if I'm going out. I dress appropriately and comfortably for myself, but I've stopped putting hours of effort into trying to find the right makeup, doing my hair, find the right clothes, because I just feel that, you know, I want to be accepted for the person that I am, not for the person I become when I'm dressed up. So I've got pretty dresses and I like to put one of those on and I'll put some, maybe some clear mascara and some lippy and maybe put my hair up but I want to go out and enjoy myself if I'm going somewhere and I don't want to be nervous about whether I've got the right clothes on. Um, you know, is my hair look good? Is my makeup right? I just, I, I just don't want to be able to do that anymore. So um, I just want to go and enjoy myself if I'm going somewhere. So I no longer give myself a complete makeup. And um, as I say, I just want to be accepted for the person that I am. And, and actually, if somebody can't accept you for that, then they're not worth knowing. So yeah, I've stopped giving myself a, a complete makeover and also it saves on the money anyway, as I've just said, I don't wear makeup anymore anyway. Number four is I don't go to the hairdressers anymore. I was always shy and quiet as a child and an introvert and it's only since I've got older that I've come out of myself. So I do actually find it quite stressful just sitting there with having a lot of people around me chatting away and and sitting in that one position for a couple of hours, having your hair done. I mean, it's great if you enjoy that, but that's absolutely fine. But for me, it's not an enjoyment. So I prefer to cut my own hair. I have long hair anyway. In fact, I've recently cut it shorter, but I find it quite easy just to cut my own hair. Number five is I have stopped worrying and caring what other people think of me because this is my life and if I care what other people think, then my life doesn't belong to me. Um, I'm a kind, caring, loving person and a decent member of society. And most of the time, others are only thinking of themselves. So I refuse to be affected or defined by them. I listen to important stuff. And, you know, I will listen to people, but most of the time people judge us and they don't even know us. Um, so I just want positivity in my life. And by listening to snide comments, and I'm not just talking on YouTube, I'm talking about life as a whole. 
You know, there can be people out there, they see you, they see what you have, and they make snide comments. They don't know you in the slightest, but they seem to feel that they have the right to tell you, you know, what they think of you. And I just don't listen to it anymore because if you take all that on board, it can cause you to be anxious, it can cause you to be depressed. And I shouldn't think any of it's true anyway, so why bother to listen to it? So, you know, I do care very much about life, and but I don't want to listen to negative people. You know, negativity is just not a part of my life. I've been through a lot in my life and I have the right now at nearly 55 to say, no, you're not gonna do that to me. I'm not gonna listen to you. So I basically, I just, I don't care what other people think. Um, and I don't mean that in a nasty way. As I say, I just don't want any, any negativity in my life. I choose to be positive and that's what I would like other people to be with me, so. You know, send out good vibes, don't send out nasty ones. And if you have got a real issue with somebody, then, you know, sit them down and try and have a conversation with, with them. Don't just make snide remarks because it's just downright nasty. And you don't know how it's going to affect that person. You know, you could make them depressed. So, yeah, just uh, try and be positive with people. And I just, I certainly just don't listen to negative comments anymore. It's just not worth it. You know, this is my life. We only get one life and we have a choice in life. So, and I choose to be positive. Number six is I have decluttered being female. Now this is a strange one. What I mean by this is that although I'm female and I'm very happy to be a female, I don't want to be put a bo in a box by society which says you're female so you can't do this, you're female you can't do that. What I mean is for instance if there is like a DIY job that I can do, I'm not talking like big jobs, I can't do big massive DIY but if there was like a small DIY job that I could do then I will try and have a go at it. Um, I don't believe that we should all just be put into a box because society says you're female, you're male, you're this, you're that, you can't do this, you can't do that. I don't think that's fair. Um, if I can do something, I will always have a go. Um, I'm very lucky. <laughs> my my partner, Derek, I've only got to ask him and he'll do anything. But I just think, you know, if you can do something, um, rather than going running and asking somebody else, always try and have a go yourself. I was brought up that way that if you can do something, then you do it to the best of your ability um, and not wait for somebody else to do it. Um, so I just I just think that men and women have the same rights and can do the same things. And although our behavior may be different, it's important to do and be the person that you want to be. So, you know, as I say, I'm very happy being female, but if there's another job that I can do then, you know, if that takes the strain off of my partner because he's really busy doing something else, then then I'll do it. I'll have a go. I do hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments any habits that you've decluttered. Appreciate you visiting. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.